Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Auralia and I am very happy to have you here. Today's video is my episode number eight of What I Wore. This video is intended to provide you outfit inspiration. However, if there's anything here that you like, I will have as many of these items linked in the description bar down below. Nothing says spring to me like blue and white, especially light blue and white. I absolutely love this outfit. I am seriously feeling spring vibes here. I am wearing this light blue and white floral top that I picked up from Target last year. It has a sheared back and it's got really pretty puff sleeves and I have paired it with my white wide leg pants. The shoes that I am wearing are these beautiful strappy white sandals that I picked up from Zara last year. I love these because they are very architectural to me. I love the heel. It looks like a round column. The shoes are very, very strappy, really comfortable, and they do have a squared off toe. I absolutely adore these shoes. I think they're fantastic, especially for the summer. They're some of my favorites. The bag that I have opted to wear with this outfit is another one of my favorites. It is my Croc Embossed Tory Burch Wallet on Chain. I can take the chain off, so I like wearing it as a clutch. It is my evening out bag on a lot of occasions. I really love the gold Tory Burch emblem. Not too in your face, but it does make an impact, especially in that beautiful brushed gold. This outfit screams spring to me. And I think my cat Pickles agrees. Outfit number two has Coco making an appearance. She apparently approves of this denim look that I have today. These jeans are my high waist wide leg jeans from Eloquy. The top is this beautiful fiery red and blue top that I got from Cabbie. It's a sheer top and then I am wearing a cami underneath it is in a fiery red i got this from eloquy i absolutely adore this outfit now again with the sandals i have decided this time to wear my by far tanya sandal it is in a really pretty patent nude leather it has a block heel it has a squared off toe i don't know what it is about squared off toes and summer for me but i love wearing sandals with squared off toes and these shoes disappear on my feet which is what i absolutely love they're incredibly comfortable and worth every penny now for the bag that i've worn i have chosen my mateo new york elizabeth bag it is a beautiful little structured black leather bag and what i love about this bag is that it has a substantial set of feet on it and that way the bag never touches the floor i love that little detail this is a very very well made bag from a designer that i feel needs more acclaim it's such a cute bag. It's very feminine and structured and lovely. For outfit three, you know that my Aritzia twirl skirt was going to make an appearance. And with the Mateo bag, I just love how feminine that looks. I'm also wearing it with this beautiful floral top that I got from Old Navy. And I've paired it with my Obi belt. I really love wearing black during the spring, especially when it is with such a flowy feminine skirt like this chiffon pleated skirt. As for the jewelry that I'm wearing, well, it has to be pearls and it has to be my Monica Benadir pearl earrings. I love these. They're so classic and feminine and elegant. I've also paired it with my Leo Zodiac necklace from Ana Luisa, as well as my textured chain from Monica Benadir. All of the pieces are incredibly delicate, timeless and fabulous. I wear them with everything because they go with everything. The flowiness of this skirt is amazing, especially with this pair of croc embossed mules from Louise at Sea that I picked up at Nordstrom. I really love the little gold hardware at the bottom of the heel. 
Mules are my favorite. They're so easy, especially in a transseasonal time like spring because your foot is covered, but it is exposed. So it's almost like wearing a sandal, but not really. And of course my black obi belt. I love this obi belt because it finishes any look and really helps to tie things together, no pun intended. For outfit four, I had to venture out to go shopping and so I decided to dress for warmth and comfort because it was a chilly day that day. I am wearing my gray blazer from H&M, my silk blend crew neck sweater from J. Crew, and my black wide leg pants along with my little Mateo bag. I really, really loved this outfit. I felt so pulled together and yet very comfortable to go shopping. I decided to wear my Sam Edelman loafer mules for this look because they are very, very comfortable. And like I said earlier, it's spring and mules are the perfect shoe for spring. These are like glorified house slippers and I absolutely adore wearing them, especially because I love, love, love that gold hardware that is on these shoes. It gives them this air of sophistication and just really cool, nice little touch. This outfit was so incredibly versatile and comfortable. I love the color blocking. This blazer from H&M is one of my favorites. And I think nobody does blazers like H&M does, especially for the price point. They sadly no longer carry this one in this color, but uh, if I can find something, I will and link it down below. For outfit number five, it's this dress. You guys are gonna get so sick of seeing this dress, but I love it. This is my green and cream colored gingham dress from Free Assembly that I got from Walmart. I'm not gonna go on about this dress too, too much because I have recently featured it in my uh, new at Walmart video. But I really love the femininity of it. I think that it is so pretty. And if you are looking for a dress for Easter, this is definitely one to get. It looks really beautiful when paired with a pair of nude heels. I really love my Calvin Klein pointy toed nude heel. This is the most comfortable heel that I have ever owned. I could walk for miles and miles in these. And they look really beautiful with the dress. They're very, very sophisticated. For me, with the nude heels, this look is perfection, especially because the dress is so affordable. To change things up a little bit, I decided to add my beige Obi belt, and I am thrilled with how this looks. I would love to hear in the comments down below what you think about the belt with this dress. I think it looks really fantastic. It finishes it beautifully. It elevates the dress even more, and I just think it is fantastic, and I cannot get enough of this look. I love it. So that does it for my What I Wore episode number eight. Let me know which was your favorite in the comments down below. Make sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. Make sure also to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.